Good evening, my fellow listeners. It's been good to to share this few words with you. Um, today I want to talk about something very sensitive, um, which is going on today, and most Ghanaians would say, "I don't care," but Ghanaians, obviously, we have "I don't care" attitude and. We are not interested in actually what is happening within the four corners of Ghana. But it is about time we we rise up and we stop sleeping and begin to take national affairs seriously because Ghanaians don't care. That is why the politicians don't respect the people of Ghana and that is why they are able to pass laws through parliament or pass certain laws without not consulting the actual people of ghana if democracy is for the people then i believe that before even something goes out or into parliament the government needs to make a public show about that particular subject and now interview people on the street or interview people to find out what their mindset involves the public into the decision making. But Ghanaians don't care, like I said. But today I would like us to, to look at a few subjects and what is actually going on with the natural resources that the cosmic mother of the universe had blessed us with and has given us. Ghana is blessed with with natural resources. You just name it. We have gold, we have bauxite, we have diamonds, we have oil, we have timber. Just name it. These resources are resources that enable a country to thrive that enable a country to stand tall among great countries. Ghana should have been one of the countries that should be highly recognized. Not that it's an African country, but it is rich with resources. If people are living comfortably, if people are happy people. But what do we see? I don't want to talk about Nigeria because Nigeria has got an imposter. They have they have placed an imposter as a president, and that is another subject that will be talked about in the future. But today we are talking about Ghana. Why do we have all these natural resources? But we are struggling, we are suffering. We have educated people in Ghana. We have young men, young women that had completed university, but they do not have jobs to do. I said what? They do not have jobs to to do. There are no jobs. Some of them don't even have what to eat. What is going on? Ghana had been blessed by the cosmic mother of the universe, the creator of the heavens and the earth and the people within, strategically positioned Ghana, enriched Ghana with these resources. But what do we see? Anytime we discover any mineral resources, Ghanaians are quick to hand over these resources to foreigners on a silver platter without not even thinking as long as it has been discovered then they start reaching forth and calling people to come and tap the resources and these countries are are, are growing stronger each day whilst Ghana grows poorer and poorer and poorer and that is a shame that is a disgrace to the people of Ghana is it that we don't have intelligent people in Ghana? I have I've made a video it's called The Mindset of the African Man. It's, it, I said it is a cancer. It's like HIV. It is wiping it generations to come and before it. 
it has wiped the generation before and is still about to wipe the generation that is to come. What is happening to Ghana? I'm very disappointed as to how we are blessed with resources and how our young men, our young women are suffering. Some of them are trying to escape the country and they are dying on sea. They are dying day in, day out and our leaders don't care. They don't even have the feeling within. It's a shame. Um, look at our mineral resources. Um, we, 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 they are extracting gold from Obuasi, New Ebrim. Look at the livelihood of these people. These people are within an environment, their own land. And gold is extracted from the land. And the indigenous people does not even enjoy the, 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 their own benefit resources that is extracted for their from their land what is wrong with the african man what is what is actually wrong with the african man it's sad no wonder you want respect the african man wanted to be recognized and no wonder the African man is not recognized is because of the of the, of the of the selfish and wickedness of our leaders. That is why the black man is not respected. It is a shame that any time we come across resources, we hand over to foreigners to tap into it just like that to make their country rich and we stay poor today i'm talking about the bauxite in exchange of road yes this is what kwejo upon enkroma i don't know whatever position he holds but he did this press conference to to explain to the people of ghana and he was very boastful and confident as if he was doing the country a favor or they are doing the country a favor. But I'm here to tell um, Kojo Nkrumah that you have done nothing to help the people of Ghana. In an actual fact, you have robbed them of their inheritance. You have robbed the people of Ghana and a generation to come. You've robbed them of their inheritance. Why do I say this? I am not against building of roads or building of infrastructure. No, I'm not against that. I'm a pioneer and, a, and, and an advocate that Ghana needs to be developed. Ghana needs to be developed and development that involve good roads, good hospitals. But we have given our natural resources that would enable us to try, that would lift Ghana out of poverty. Once again, is given over to the Chinese. That is a shame. I said it is given over to the Chinese and it's a 15 years deal. So the Chinese people will be extracting our bauxite in the next 15 years. I said what? In the next 15 years. And the roads they are going to build, they said it will cost Ghana 200 billion. My dear brothers and sisters, we are not dummies, but our leaders have short eyesighted. They, they can't think far. They, they cannot think far. Okay, they, 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 they are block-headed. Look, when I was listening to this guy, it tells me how foolish we are as a people and as a nation. And when you come to Europe, you expect the white person to respect you. 
You want the white person to respect you. They will never respect you until you put yourself in order. Until Africa put itself in order. For now, Africa had placed itself in a position to be disrespected. That is what is going on. 15 years. And you know what he said? He says 70% is given to the Chinese and 30% is for the locals. You and I know that is not true. You and I know for sure that is not true. Even the oil that we discovered. How many percentage do we have in the oil? How many percentage does Ghana hold in that um, Obuasi gold mine? How many percentage in New Ebrim? How many percentage do we have? Now it's gone to bauxite. That is also being handed over on a silver platter. On a silver platter. And this foolish man, Kojo and Krom, this foolish man was boastful and said that what do we get in return? Of this mineral resources that we are get, we are giving to the Chinese. He says we are going to get royalties. Just listen to the foolishness. So we are going to get what royalties and income tax. Foolish man, idiots. Okay, you are going to get what income tax. It is by law. Okay, if Kojo, you did not go to school, I don't know which school you attended. But income tax, it is by law that everybody that works on the land must pay tax. And, and, and he said something that if they make profits, then they would have to pay. But he foolishly, he said that most of them says that they've made losses, which means that they don't even pay tax. Kojo. Please think a little, Kojo Nkroma, think a little bit. Use your five senses a little bit. So when they gave you this to come and read to the people of Ghana, you didn't question yourself before coming through. Can you imagine? Royalties, income tax, and what? And if and if they pay if they make profit please i'm not lying go on to the um, on youtube and and put um sino hydro um by kojo upon enchroma and it is there i went online joy online i went there to also read just to find out exactly what is going on with it. look we all know the road that the chinese are building in ghana they are shit roads they understand it, 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 look, I, I can't, I can't, words cannot even explain. Look at the Achimota of Fanko when it rains. The water covers the roads and car cannot even pass through. Car cannot even pass through. You look at Malam. You see, under the bridges, they are not done to that extent that it is water that has, you know, so Ghana, don't you don't you have foresight? Don't our leaders have foresight? They will never respect us until we tell them the quality and standard that we want. That mineral resources that they are going to extract, that bauxite, they are going to extract that bauxite for 15 years. In exchange of road, we have stopped butter trading years ago. But you see, Ghana had taken us back to butter trading. It tells you how backward we are as a people and as a nation and how stupid and how blockheaded our leaders and our people are. I'm beginning to heat. I'm upset. We have Kwame Nkrumah University. We said we, we have engineering science students. Why can't we develop and tap into our own natural resources? 
because this bauxite that these people are going to extract in 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 in, in, in what they will extract in a year will be more than even the two billion the chinese are hungry for resources mineral resources it is a shame if you don't know what the bauxite is used for i have a few things listed here for you the bauxite is a very important aluminium my brothers and sisters it is used for cement it is used in cement so if ghana can't we develop can't we make cement and start producing our own cement that would would enable us to start building things on our own where is our engineering science where where are the education that we are having in development where are all these things people of ghana the stupidity is out of hand someone will say i'm insulting no 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 i'm not i'm just making a fact i'm just making things clear so that we'll have a better understanding of what is going on in the system. The bauxite is used for chemicals. It is used for face makeup. Ladies and gentlemen, you see the makeup, the women, when they do, and when you see it, your eyes is like, wow, wow, wow. This is what this mineral is used for. It is also used for soda cans, dishwashers, glass cutting tools my dear brothers and sisters these chinese are going to produce and they are going to sell it all across the world and they are going to make money they are going to make billions 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 almost um, almost billions trillions out of these mineral resources if only we can tap we can develop ourselves as a nation and, and start building and start showing interest in technology and start building and start tapping into our own resources Ghana would have been one of the country that even western people will come and live and start working they will start doing agricultural farming with us they will, look they will come and work and get paid and go back with all these natural resources we can bring the dollar and the pounds down as a nation if we decided to tap into our own mineral resources you see we are blockheaded to that extent that a french president have to come to africa and tell our women not to give not to give birth and 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 and, 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 and say that we no 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 please look can we, you guys go to Europe and tell them what to do? But they come to tell you, your women are giving birth too much, they're contraceptive. Let's, let's, come on. Look, this is another subject I will talk for another time. And it goes on to say something here, which I quote. It says, Ghana will establish a refinery within the next three years and select its own partners to undertake the refinery of the bauxite how foolish i will read this again it says what ghana will establish a refinery within the next three years and select its own partners you see they are going to they are going to build it says ghana will establish a refinery within three years and they would work and they would they will select their own partners it's foolishness do you, are you trying to tell me that Dubai's oil, they have partners in that oil? Saudi Arabia oil, they have partners with foreigners? Come on, for goodness sake. Do you think we are stupid? This is the, the mind of the African man. The mindset of the African man is the stupidity and foolishness. That is it's a cancer. It's toxic. It's, it's eating the generations to come. That is the mindset of the african man okay he's going to build oil refining but yet so he wants he's going to build a, a, a refining for the boxer but yes so one people to be uh, one partners quickly partners how stupid 
We will never move forward as a nation until we tap into our own rich natural resources without any help from anybody. Then we can price our own product and sell it and make millions and develop our country. It is a shame. And upon all this, that the government is going into that agreement. Just listen to another one. That what is the name? Asibi um, Yebua said. The government had implemented some major road projects. It says the government has had implemented some major road projects and, and continued to look for funding to, 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 to implement additional critical infrastructure projects, including hospitals, bridge interchange roads affordable houses fishing landing site how stupid you see this mineral resources if we can tap into this 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 resources we can do all these things within within two years if 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 we are clever if we can tap into this resources if we can extract our own resource and refine, if Ghana will establish a refinery in three years, then why don't we wait and build that refinery and start digging our own and tap into our own resources without the help of anybody? If Ghana, you cannot build the equipment, call the Chinese. You said you want to do business. You said, look, we want we want this particular um, 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 gadget or equipment. You see, if you can't, you don't, you think you cannot produce and you don't have the balls to produce, at least you should bargain and let them build equipment for you that can extract the item yourself. You see how foolish we are as a people and as a nation? It's, it's a sad, it's a very sad, 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 sad situation that Ghana is at the very bottom of, 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 the, of, of every nation. I'm, I'm, I'm a proud Ghanaian, but I am ashamed to, to, be, to be linked with the mindset of Ghana. I think it's about the time the youth of Ghana to rise up and, 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 and then start to put these old people in power out of power. It is about time. Ghana, as we say, is a gateway to Africa. Yes, it's a gateway to tap into our resources. And when they say that you are happy, you are happy. No, 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 no. Ghana. As we say in our language, I say Ghana. Enfan and Toma pa infra in Yanomo. Ghana and Toma na atiti na e pong kan kan kan. Edimube siha. Metwaso. Wome a esimu. Chedi ampo ba tampano onka yehu wombi ya jimu ni yehu nyansa wombi a jimu ni yehu nyansa na bebi edru diye e hajne ne ya sefim e ye niwo na bebi a edru ni diye Ghana ye 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 manu mu ye ye jomu ade papa ye jomu timea ye manu beni no na even agricultural products agricultural lands ni ya ya say ni ni na. Chinese food to galam say e kwa manfo e fuom be bia dachi asasia o doman kuma o bo adie ne di jaye e di maaye se e ye bi be koya no no ye be ma wo ma be sai no no mo de cancer abraye gana for mo my adie e ku fu ado ene ne ne ko fo e bon se mo ma mo clap for you i'm clapping for you my adie ni ngwasie eno na kire se school na mo ko e na dream bi ni mutim we na e ko ke na mo ko no mo ye no afa mo nyina mo tri ni ehu ehu mo wie ye mo wie ye enye fe ba ko ba ko ba ko ba ko ba ko mi de se me me wa ha se me se emre ne so a me ba de kasamiti mo me da ma se 